Hey family, God bless you. So the Lord definitely has been speaking to me about making the children ready. And I believe by him saying what he's been showing me, speaking about the children, he's referring to his children. He's talking about the bride. He's talking about my people, you guys. Um, you know, just continuing, continuing to do the things that I have been doing, that he's been doing through me speaking to you guys and just making many of you aware of what he's doing and, you know, so that we can be prepared. And um, one of the things he's been talking to me about is is uh, consecration. And we've talked about this before. Um, and he's been showing me signs of this again. So I wanted uh, to share that real quick. So um, I recently had this dream uh, where I heard to Julian or to Jubilee. I wasn't sure if it was Julian or Jubilee. But sometimes when I get that, when that happens, when I'm not sure which one it is, it's usually both somehow. But what I heard was to Julian or to Jubilee, my sister, after we got her out from the storm. So he literally said my, my actual sister's name, but um, I believe he was at, he was talking about her, but also talking about my sister as in representing the bride. So, and he said, after we got her out of the storm, so as we know, we've we've been talking about, we've been sharing with each other about being in the storm, going through the storm, and um, you know, that's trial and tribulation. So I looked up what uh Julian means. Julian means I'm not sure if it's Hove or Have, but it's spelled J O V E. So it's Hove's child. And this Hove or Have um, obviously represents Jehovah. So it's speaking about Jehovah's child. So again, this obviously represents um, his children, my, um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So then I look up what Jubilee means. So Jubilee um, can obviously can um, be described or defined rather in Leviticus 25, 8 to 12. So this is from the NIV that I'm going to read. So it says, count off seven Sabbath years, seven times seven years, so that the seven Sabbath years amount to a period of 49 years. Then have the trumpet sounded everywhere on the 10th day of the seventh month on the day of atonement sound the trumpet throughout your land consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants it shall be a jubilee for you each of you is to return to your family property and to your own clan the 50th year shall be a jubilee for you do not sow and do not reap what grows of itself or harvest the intended vines, for it is a jubilee and is to be holy for you. Eat only what is taken directly from the fields. So what this scripture is saying is that a jubilee is a year or a time of consecration, of cleansing, of forgiveness, of debts, and it is meant for uh, when he says that the land is is uh you know not to be harvested and um you know all the things that that come with with that time before that uh the jubilee is is for the land to have a time of rest it's a, it's a year of rest so it's like re, you know renewal peace cleansing um so again this is talking about consecration so it, this is what, um, again, ties into what he's talking about right now 
of being a time to consecrate the children, make them ready, prepare them. And what he's telling me is to prepare the children um, so that they will be ready to stand before God. Because when we come to stand before God, we have to be clean. We have to be consecrated before we come into his presence. And that's what Jesus does with us. He He um, uh, cleanses us continually until that time comes. So then I had, or what I was actually thinking about was uh, sanctifying us. He sanctifies us, you know, every day more and more. So I had another dream where I was speaking with someone where I believe I was there to help with some type of work that they were giving me. And there was a shelf and on it um, was what looked like a digital scale. And the person told me that they would take the babies that were there and place them on the scale. And then I was to wash them. I said, okay. And I was then waiting for them to place uh, a baby on the scale for me. So I understood, again, this to represent cleansing and consecration. So the scale, a scale obviously represents judgment. So the, these were babies being placed on a scale to be judged. So that's us standing before God. We, we stand before God to, you know, to be judged. And even though we personally um, as believers will not be judged by our works like the unbelievers will, we will be judged by God's righteousness, Jesus' righteousness that is placed upon us for him dying on the on the cross for us and us believing, having faith in who he is and what he did. So um, then the babies obviously again represent God's children. And I was being told to wash them, you know, as they were placed on the scale. So again, this, this judgment also can represent the storm. This is the trials and tribulations. As we're going through these trials and tribulations, I am to help consecrate the people. So I'm helping prepare the people for when they go to stand before God or when they go to do whatever he is calling them to do. So Zechariah 3, verse 3 to 7 says, Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. And stood before the angel, and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house. And shall also keep my courts, and I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that the Lord revealed to me about the scripture here, but I'm not going to get too deep into it. Um, for right now, this is scripture that is connected to and helping to explain the whole process of standing before God, being cleansed as Joshua was being consecrated by the Lord, having his clothes of his dirty raiment, his dirty garments taken off. And God was placing these clean, consecrated, that's what consecrated means, being, being set apart, set apart from the wickedness of the world and the desires of sin that the world loves so much. And we are being set apart from that. 
set apart to do the good works of God. So we're being cleansed and consecrated so that we can then go forth and do the good works that he is calling us unto. So I'm helping prepare to do that. So then Exodus 19.10 says, And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes. That's pretty self-explanatory there. So this last dream I want to share real quick. Um, in this dream, I was working again, and I was um, there was this baby. There was a baby that I was given to check over or to to like oversee, to watch over, and make ready. I knew this. I I, I wasn't specifically told it, but I had knowing that I was. This, this baby was given to me to check over, to look over, and to make ready. And I knew that I had, a, had been given this DVD, and it had instructions, like fur, it, further instructions on either what to do myself or for what to, um, to give to this baby to do, which is weird when you think about it being an actual baby. But when you think about it being a child of God, it makes sense. So Luke 117 says, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. This is scripture that the Lord gave me to make these things make sense. I'm not saying I'm Elijah or that I am in the spirit of Elijah, but at the same time, that is what God showed me. So take it to the Lord. But this is definitely time frame, time period that we're in right now. This is something he gave me to share with everyone. And um, I'm trying to be obedient. I love my brothers and sisters, and I want us all to be ready and prepared for what God has for us. So I love you guys. I'll talk with you soon.